Hey, Chad German here with Utah Electrician and Trade School. Hey, the DMs came in on how to size wire. And I've been uh, looking up these codes to tell you guys because I don't have everything memorized. I just know how to find it. So anyway, sizing a wire and grounding and bonding, those are the most misunderstood parts of the code. Those are things that as I go teach and I do my consulting, people don't know the difference between a grounding electrode and equipment ground and they're journeymen and master electricians. It's not uncommon. Sizing wire, you don't just have to go to table 3, 10, 15, find the 75 degree column and go off your ampacity on every load. So stay tuned and uh, I'm going to teach you today on how to size for an uh, air conditioner. So stay tuned. It's different than the way you size for anything else um, and I'll give you the codes and how to do that. So I'm here at a job I did a few years back. I just happened to be at a service call when I decided I was going to do this video. Uh, it's just down the road. So I finished that up, stopping here for my lunch break. Now, got up on the roof here. This nameplate says it all when sizing your uh, circuits for this air conditioning unit. You see here, and I'm going to post the I'm going to post the nameplate in this video so you can pause and look at it. But let me flip this around and you guys can see what I'm talking about. So you see this, there's a lot of information here. You got three phase, you got 208, 230. You got all, all the information on here, somewhat more than what you think you need or that you might need. On this application, you have a few different things that show amperage, 30, to 20, 20, 30 and 28 amps. That's gonna have to do with your voltages. And then over here, you have minimum amp, circuit ampacity, 30 to 32 amps maximum fuse or HVAC breaker 45 amps and then you got your full load amps so there's a lot of codes that go involved in that and I'm gonna go and explain that with my code book so stay tuned so we know we use the nameplate rating on the on the air conditioning unit also there's a few things to know when you're sizing any wire number one is 110.14 C, which it talks about the termination points. So every, th every terminal that you would have to install, it talks about that in there, we'll get into that. And then table 310.16 in the 2020 code book. Um, you will also have to know of 240.4G, which puts the air conditioning unit and motors and other different types of things in a whole different category, meaning you don't size that off your overcurrent protection device, the wires. And so, that will tell you that will give you reference points in that table of where to go in order to size these wires. So for this wire, if you saw on the nameplate that you have the 45 amp maximum fuse, you have to use that fuse or that breaker. But the wire size was 30 amps. So you would size your wire off of 310.16 and then you ha then the question comes in what uh, what column do I use in 310.16? That's when you would go to 110.14C. 110.14C tells you anything 100 amps or less is the 60 degree column. Anything over 100 amps is going to be the 75 degree column. Now, also in that same section, that is that is for an unknown. But we know that the terminal ratings on on all HVAC equipment is rated for the 75 degree column. So don't get lost into 110.14C where it tells you the 100 amps or less is 60. Um, and that's <clears throat> that doesn't get important until you get into the 50 amp range. Uh, it starts changing the wire sizes according to the different temperatures. So we're gonna size this off of the 30 degree column or the 75 degree column on 30 amps, which is gonna give you a 10 amp on a 45 amp breaker. So it doesn't make sense to a lot of guys that just size things off of the breaker size, which I mean you could do, but you're over a long period of time, you could be saving money on downsizing wire. So this is one instance that you would you would size the wire not off the overcurrent protection, but off of the minimum ampacity that is allowed on the nameplate. And then you could have the maximum overcurrent protection device at 45 amps. That's what you have to have 
have that breaker 45 amps with a number 10 wire on it and that's how you size wire for a condenser unit for air conditioning thanks i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions hit me up utah electrician dms uh, sparky edu dms there's a lot of guys on there that would help you out and uh, a couple of us electricians and hvac guys on trade schools thanks and have a wonderful so day. as you can see here 110.14 electrical connection c terminals one it tells you 100 amp or less to use the 60 degree column over 100 amps 75 degree column but up here it also says if the terminal this is if the terminals are not known so we know the HVAC equipment and uh, most breakers and switches and stuff are rated for 75 degree column on 310.16 240.4G these are specific areas that are not sized just off of overcurrent protection device there is your air conditioning and refri refrigeration and it tells you to go to 440 to uh, know how to size the wires, which would then tell you to use the nameplate rating. 16, this is the table we use to size. So off that nameplate, we're gonna go to the 75 degree calling, column according to 110.14C. And you come down here and 30 amps. Where am I? We're gonna go here and it's 25, 35 amps. Um, one thing to know about this table, if you go to 240.4, or if you come down here to the, the note, you see the little stars? Come down the note, it's going to send you to 240.4D, which then would tell you that a 30 amp breaker is on a number 12. So your overcurrent protection device off of this is a 45 amp breaker. That's just given off of the nameplate. And then the 30 amps is going to be a number 10 once you go to 240.4D and it will tell you 30 amps is good for a number 10. Anyway, I hope that helps you guys out on sizing wires.